which is question number 71. Let's read it. Which of the following reagents will be able to distinguish between propyne and propene? Ammoniacal silver nitrate, Br2 in CCl4, 1% coal dilute alkaline KMnO4 and H2PT. Students among the given options, ammoniacal silver nitrate solution will be able to distinguish between propyne and propene as this propyne on reaction with ammoniacal silver nitrate will give a white precipitate and on the other hand propene will not react with ammoniacal silver nitrate solution. I am writing the reaction CH3, C triple bond, CH this is propyne on reaction with NH4OH, AG, NO3 that is ammoniacal silver nitrate solution. The compounds are formed as CH3, C triple bond, C negative, AG positive and this is a white PPT. On the other hand, propene will not react with ammoniacal silver nitrate solution. There will be no reaction. That means the correct answer is option number one. Moving to next question, which is question number 72. Let's read the question. The most stable alkene among the following is cisbutuene. 2-methylpropene, butuanine, transbutuene. Students, we know that uh, stability of an alkene increases as the hyperconjugation increases, which depends upon the number of alpha hydrogen. So, among the given options, transbutuene is more stable. This is even more stable than cisbutuene. That means the correct answer is option number 4. Moving to next question which is question number 73. Let's read it. Consider the following reaction sequence and identify the final product B. So let's start this question students. First we are given with ethyne. This on reaction with Na, NH2, 2 equivalent. We'll get Na plus C minus triple bond C minus and since we are given with two equivalents of so both the hydrogen both side Na plus will come. This is A. This on reaction with CH3Cl in axis. So this will attack on CH3 and Cl will remove. So this carbon with negative sign will also attack on another molecule of methyl chloride and the final product we get is CH3 C triple bond C CH3. This is butuine and this is compound B. Here I am writing its name but 2 ion. That means the correct answer is option number 3. Moving to next question students which is question number 74. Let's read it. Benzene on treatment with axis of chlorine in presence of UV rays at 500 Kelvin gives predominantly. Student I am writing the reaction. Benzene on reaction with three molecules of Cl2 in the presence of UV rays at temperature 500 degrees Celsius and undergoes addition reaction and on all the six carbon atoms chlorine atom is added. So here I am writing HCl, CLH, 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 CLH. H and CLH. This is C6H6Cl6. So this is benzene hexachloride. So the correct answer is option number 4. Moving to next question students which is question number 75. Let's read it. By which of the following reactions mesitylene can be obtained? Students, first of all I am drawing the structure of mesitylene. So mesitylene is a benzene on which three methyl groups are attached on alternate positions. This is M-E-S-I-T-Y-L-E-N. This is mesitylene. Let's read the statements by treating propyne with 
HgSO4, H2SO4 and H2O? No. By treating benzene with isopropyl chloride and hydrous AlCl3? No. By passing propyne through red hot iron tube? Red hot iron tube at 873 Kelvin. Student, this is the correct method of preparation of mesetylene. And I'm also reading the last statement and then we'll continue with the reaction. By treating toluene with methyl chloride in presence of anhydrous AlCl3. This is also not the correct method. So, student, let's proceed with the reaction with the method given in option number 3. So, propyne CH3C triple bond CH. Let's take it three molecules of propyne and pass it through red hot iron tube at temperature 873 Kelvin and we'll get mesetylene. That means the correct answer is option number 3. Moving to next question. Mm -hmm.